What's up, guys? It's your boy Peterson, aka Apparatus. Today, we are going to be talking about FL Studio how to delete plugins and the effect in FL Studio. Maybe you have plugins in FL Studio that has expired and uh, you don't need it anymore, and now you want to delete it. Maybe it's occupying space, and now you want to get rid of it. This is what uh, this video is all about. I'm gonna take you down step by step how to delete plugins in FS Studio, delete uh, effects in FS Studio. So you gotta stay down to watch it. You know, just watch this video till the end so that you you get exactly how to delete it. It's fast and simple. Okay, guys. Without saying much, let's just go down to this video. And before we go down to the video, uh, I would like to tell you I have some gift for you. If you if you don't have FS Studio, you can uh, check the link in the description. You download FS Studio and join me. So let's see how to make things happen in FS Studio. In this channel, actually, we uh, we drop videos all about FS Studio tutorial and digital marketing. So feel free to subscribe so that whenever we drop new videos, you're gonna get it. So, okay, without talking much, let's just go down into it. Okay, here we are, guys, in FS Studio. Um, uh, first thing, uh, let me show you uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, let me go straight to my mixer. Uh, my mixer, yes. Let's say from here. Maybe I, uh, as you can see, I have a list of uh, 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 effects here, uh, far filter. Uh, let me just click and show you. When I try to open it, you see what it's saying? It says Fab Filter plugin could not be found. That means uh, this Fab Filter is no longer in this uh, in in the database. So what I need now is to get rid of it. Yes, delete it off. Uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, maybe uh, let me also try it from from uh, this angle, uh, uh, I'm trying to put in uh, some plugin, maybe like this plugin. If I try to open it, look at what he's saying. He's saying that this plugin could not be found. So what we are going to do now is to delete it. Yes, may it's no longer found, so that we have to delete it in order to clean up and uh, Put everything in order. So, for we to do this, we have to we have to go to the database area and delete it off. So, in order to clean up this, you need to let me cancel this. You come to here. This is browser actually. Because if you don't know, this browser. See, it has disappeared. This is where you get all the instrument. Uh, for pro, pro, pro programming, yeah. So, so guys, here plugin database. Huh? When you come to here, you right click. When you right click, you scroll down, open, then left click, open. As you can see, we have effect here. This is where all your effects and uh, uh, the plugins that you have inside are installed. So we have effect generator and installed. So here, let's start from the effects. You click, right click it, sorry, left click it. Then you scroll down, as you can see, I have all these effects and they are not working. So what are we going to do? We are going to get rid of it. Get rid of them all. So what you need to do is to left click, sorry, right click and delete. As you can see, it's gone. Right click 
and delete you right click delete so maybe we can equally do it like this in order to save our time as you can see they are all deleted so all this all these uh, plugins there i'm not using them so i don't need them so what i will do is to just left click and delete all of them as you can see now let's see like all this all this i don't need them no, you have to be careful because uh, we have uh, uh, the FS Studio Store plugins are also here. So you have to be careful in order not to delete uh, FS Studio Store plugin too. Okay, maybe I should do it one by one so that you can understand. Like this plugin, I don't need it. This one, I don't need it. I don't need all these ones. I delete them all. Delete them all big sequence delete them all uh, yeah like this big sequence shortcut i don't need it delete it i don't need all these ones we delete it so now we have a control interface and uh, control surface sorry edison effector eq pop filter i believe you know this this particular for uh they are in in inbuilt uh, uh, effect in FS Studio. You know Edison very well, but all these run down, down till till I think all these run from here to here. I don't know them, so I have to delete them. So I have to maybe highlight it and uh, delete all of them. So as you can see. They are all deleted. So here you can see all the plugins. So now let's go back and check if what we did has any effect or not. So like here, as you can see, all those uh, file filter are no longer here. It's all been deleted. So let's try the same thing with them um, let's try the same thing with uh, this plugin inspire so maybe if you try to go to here let's say replace you can see we have it here spire x64 i don't need this plugin so i need to delete it so how am i going to do that let's still go back to the database so all you have to do is to right click scroll down open so now this time around we are not going to effect we are going to generator click on generators so scroll down you will definitely find a particular plugin uh, so let's go down let's go down maybe it's here let's check okay as you can see we have all these plugins we don't need it i don't need it so i have to delete them I'm not using them like this. Okay, fruity, you know, flex. These, these are inbuilt, so we don't touch them. So here, um, let me check drums. If I have anything in drums, these are all FS Studio inbuilt. Uh, miscellaneous. Let's take miscellaneous. Sorry. Uh, these are all inbuilt um new no i've been here i've been here before so sampler these are all in view scene yeah as you can see we have it here in scene we have sent serum purity neuro all these guys are not in build we don't know them so what we're going to do we're going to delete highlight highlight all of them and delete them so that they will give us space like this guy is not in our database this guy 
is not in our database this guy is not in our database so i have to delete all these guys okay fs studio vst multiple um this guy i don't know let me just keep it i'll come back for that later so here we are we have um, these are inbuilt fs studio plugins you don't delete them you don't delete them so i think we are okay with all we have here now i think the system is now clean so all these plugins i'm familiar with them so i don't delete them so now let's just go back and check out uh, the what we did this is two plus okay see okay as you can see as you can see that plugin is no uh, is no longer here they are all being deleted so maybe i should go back and delete this guy too because i don't need them they are not useful to me so let me just go and so you have to do it again right click scroll down open generator uh where did i find it before i think it should be here no it's not there here sorry it's not there where did i get that plugin okay it, is, it should be inside scene so here is it i don't know them so what i'm gonna do is to delete them so now let's go go back and check you go to replace as you can see it has been deleted so guys that's it that's it guys that's how to delete um every uh, logins in fs studio that's how to delete uh, uh, effect in fs studio so i don't know if this uh, particular video i hope you are seeing me now yeah if this particular video actually you actually benefited something in it please give us a like give us thumb up yeah subscribe and uh, like share to help others um, so in this channel we always drop video about fs studio and anything related to fs studio and digital marketing so please assist us to grow by subscribing uh, yeah that's it thank you see you